Mumbai studios of Republic TV. It's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Arnab Goswami on the debate at 10, powered by Century Pro Wood. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a many, many, many thousand crore fraud case, but it is not just a fraud case. There is more to this than meets the eye. And I truly believe that the so called business media and the pink media of this country are missing the wood for the trees. I'm talking about the circumstances which have led in the last few days to the arrest of Chanda Kochar, once celebrated as one of the biggest business personalities in the country, once the managing director and CEO, earlier CFO of ICICI Bank. And also the arrest equally sensational of Venugopal Dhut, you know, a man who really, really did exceptionally well during the Congress party's regime. Viewers, there is a group of people in this country which wants you to believe that whatever this crime was, was limited to Chanda Kochar and Venugopal Dhut and a few accessories. Well, I don't think so. I believe this is the tip of the iceberg. And if we go deeper, we will find much more possibly political patronage and links. It is the responsibility of this government to ensure that we don't skim the surface in this case. In a few minutes, I will have Arvind Gupta, the whistleblower who exposed the scam in 2016. And we will look at the various aspects of this financial scandal. Here is where it stands now. The big scandal that India Inc. is desperately trying to not talk about and then we debate. She held the reins of India's largest private sector lender. He was an industry leader and the face of Videocon Group. Now they are the faces of India Inc's biggest scandal. It started with six loans starting in 2009. It was an entangled web of banks, companies, shell companies, conflicting interests and loan sanctions that defy prudence. The Chanda Kochar headed ICICI Bank rolled out loans to the tune of over 1,800 crores to Videocon Group Company. Conveniently, another Videocon Group Company then invested in a company led by Chanda Kochar's husband. They are suspected kickbacks and the loan in question has now been deemed an NPA. The allegations of gross financial fraud, criminal conspiracy and irregularities to the tune of 3,000 crores. The Doot Kocher ICICI web of transactions took place under the UPA. Now the CBI is probing a possible political links. Venugopal Dutt, Chanda Kocher and Deepak Kocher are all under arrest and likely to be interrogated together. This is truly a scandal that has shaken up in the INC. She has committed a crime and she has done it to please somebody. I know that she did it. I know the name of the politician, but I can't mention it because people say I am... You're saying there is a political oh, connection. Many politicians who have encouraged her to do it. And at the heart of it all is a whistleblower who exposed the alleged fraud way back in 2016. The probe so far only scratches the surface. The rot is deep. Let's debate. Viewers, Arvind Gupta is the whistleblower in the scam. He will begin by giving me his account and the inside story live on the program. 
and then I will be joined for a conversation around it with all the people live on the screen. So Hail Seth understands big business very well. Praful Sarda, entrepreneur and activist. Sumit Mehta of Paradigm Advisors, the CEO of Paradigm Advisors. Lokesh Jindal of the Congress, Ravi Srivastava and Vivek Srivastava. Because the story has a political ramification. Uh, would you please first give me your broad introduction and any other, uh, you know, sort of uh, anything else you want to add to where you came into the picture in this case in 2016 and after that, Mr. Gupta. Uh, I just know that you're a very activist shareholder and investor in both ICICI and Videocon. What else is your professional background and how did you get into this? Oh, no, as you may be knowing that uh, I have been raising the issues of corporate governance, transparency, public accountability, showed activism for the last almost over nearly 30 years now. Um, if you recall, I think we had interaction about uh, CAG uh, matter also quite some time back. And uh, I have been raising all these issues as a shareholder and the corporate governance proponent from almost nearly now 30 years to be precise. The Videocon matter came first. Uh, in 1992, wherein their first public issue of Gujarat Narmada Very Electronics was installed by uh, MRTPC Commission. And I know their misdeeds of managing the affairs in the corporate and the government lobby ever since then. They managed to get it vacated from the Calcutta High Court and the Supreme Court and all those things. They have duped virtually many state government financial corporations and, and the financial institutions. Uh, rising up to the level of being number one electronic company in the, uh, in the country. Mm. With respect to ICICI uh, banking nexus, uh, I can just take you immediately back to as back as uh, 18th of December 2008, when Videocon promoters family and Chanda Coaches family, they formed a 50-50 joint venture under a company's brand name called New Power Renewable Limited. That was the time also when there was a global meltdown and the companies were undergoing restructuring and all. But they were very thick and thin. So Videocon invested, Videocon family, um, Venugopal Dhut, Rajkumar Dhut, and Pradeep uh, Dhut's uh, son, uh, Saurabh, on one side, and Chanda Kocher, her husband, and her father-in-law from the side of the, of the, uh, of the Pacific uh, financial company which had a complete network of companies operating from India, from Singapore, and they were trying to build up an empire. Deepak Kocha obviously was an ambitious person, so he launched his new power ventures. And today, underneath that, we have at least three subsidiaries which are operating. So on the one hand, you find that they were giving a lot of uh, sweetheart deals to the, to the group to avoid that they don't uh, default. On, on the bankruptcy, but they did eventually because they were trying to siphon the fund all over. They defaulted. Now, as a quid pro quo, obviously, all the evidences would show all the published report that you can access to uh, from ROC's filing. You would find that there have been uh, a, a report, fund flowing into the new power, be it in India and be abroad. Now, we have been only able to touch the tip of the iceberg in India with respect to uh, catching off the Videocon uh, promoters group. But at the same time, there are many other groups which were salvaged, which were funded by the ICICI chiefs and the management. And, and one doesn't know how many of them have really gone bankrupt, how much was the total exposure of ICICI bank in funding these companies to come back and how much has become now, NPA? Mr. Gupta, Only, my uh, next question. Back, my my next remember. question is very simple. My next, question, yeah. my, my next question is very simple. I don't think Chanda Kocher did it on her own. I don't think Chanda Kocher. I think there's a board. And the board was supporting her. And, and even till 2018. The ICICI bank board was saying nothing doing. Chanda Kocher is absolutely innocent. Nothing doing. Chanda Kocher is absolutely They'd seen your letter. They'd had their internal right. investigation. They were giving a clean sheet. Now that board is also answerable to someone. Which means, which gives, you know, I go by gut no, feel. I, there's a feeling board. I have 
feeling I have that they were very, 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 very powerful people behind the scenes, behind both Chanda Kochar and Venugopal no. Dhut. I, it can't be just two people who are corrupt, right? Yes. Uh, you're right. In fact, uh, I have the uh, copy of that uh, press release by ICICI Bank. I do as well. March 28, 18, wherein, okay, wherein you could see, they would say that the entire, uh, she cannot do anything alone by herself. There was a committee of credit and all distinguished people on the board, those who approved that. It indirectly only sh uh, admits that she was not alone. And there were other people, those who have to be in, in the same line of thinking to approve all this funding and switch her deals to all the corporates, not only one. There was Suzlon, there are SR groups, there are JP groups, and you name and the GTL infra groups, and maybe lakhs of crores of fund were given to them in this quid pro quo business. Now the issue is, if you see, I'm sure you would have seen, the FIR filed by CBI, even they have there in their report very categorically said that there were top senior officials in the bank who have played role in sanctioning the, the, uh, the loans. Who had and influence over ICICI Bank's NPA board? And who had influence over the ICICI Bank's board? Yes, who, are the, sorry, come who are the big shareholders? Who could have stopped this? Well, it could be. Surely, I mean, who... who no, the big stakeholder, the godfather and godbrothers of Chanda Kochar in the banking fraternity or in the bank or maybe in the ministry, who, does, who, who knows it? Maybe, I mean, she, they are all politically important people. Uh, I recall distinctly the, uh, the brother of Mr. Venu Gopal Dhut, Rajkumar oh. Dhut, has been the member of parliament in Rai Sabha. No, I, I think there so is a reference to people in the then government party. here in the, in, the, in the remand copy and that's where it gets interesting. Sohail, it is Hello. said, and please yes. note, yes. Uh, the issue is Praful Sarda and Samit Mehta, that in the remand copy of the CBI put before the Bombay High Court, it is said that the accused persons are also required to be further interrogated to unearth the criminal conspiracy in, along with other unknown public servants and private persons. Which means, somebody in the government was behind yes. all this. No wonder Subramaniam's then government, Congress government, no wonder then Subramaniam Swami is smacking his lips at the possibility, right? And public sector undertaking was the biggest shareholder yes. of LIC was the biggest shareholder of 12.3% in ICICI Bank. Hello. In other words, am I wrong in assuming Praful Sarda and Sumit that the government had significant say over ICICI Bank? In a way, yes. In a way, yes, because di uh, indirectly through public financial institutions, Hello. Uh, government did own a stake in ICICI and they Hello. should have ideally used that to govern the banks. But unfortunately, there was no right kind of governance system wherein go government could positively intervene and ensure that corporate governance mechanisms in ICICI bank are taken care of and ensure that uh, loan sanctioning process is correct. That unfortunately did not happen. I don't know the reasons for no, that. No, I, no, no, I, I understand, I understand, uh, Sumit. Can I, can I but, the, but the <clears throat> point is, just yeah, sure you can answer Lokesh. You see, yeah. Lokesh, corruption is going to come <clears throat> out. There is a clear case of political oversight. Chanda Kocher is in clear conflict of interest. There's a committee, right? There's a committee. There are government representatives of the committee. Two of the six loans which are dispersed to Videocon, there is a conflict of interest. Their collateral securities, were they released? Why was the transfer of shares between Videocon and ICICI ignored? Why was the loan easily dispersed? And these are not small amounts. 1,730 crores to Videocon, despite Suhail said, 1,730 crores viewers, I just want to say this in simple terms, while the poor people of this country, the middle class, working hard, paying their taxes, struggling through life in the Congress time, and that's why Dr. Yeah. Manmohan Singh's government mm -hmm. was probably the most corrupt government by default. 1,730 crores was given to Videocon, yeah. despite <clears throat> Chanda Korcher's conflict of interest with her husband's subsidiary companies receiving share transfers from Videocon. A kindergarten level analysis of <clears throat> these transactions would have exposed it. So. 
but it was not done. So, Sohail, I want to bring you in on this. Let me bring in Sohail first, Lokesh. Sohail. So, Dr. Gupta will bear me out about in terms of what I'm about to say. Let me tell you how these bankers work. Number one, quid pro quo is the least of their crimes. It is an absolute club. It's a cozy syndicate and it has survived every government. Not just the Congress, it will survive. This government is different because, as I said, Modi suffers uh, 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 no one, you know, dipping their hands in the till. The other racket that Arnab Goswami one day you will have to unearth is how some bankers, children, set up their own funds and then there's a quid pro quo. That banker will give a loan to a particular group. That group will invest in that child's fund. It is a well-known thing. I don't even want to take names because, you know, both you and I will get sued silly. Third. No, no, without Dr. taking Gupta, names, can you explain how this works or has worked? I'll tell you, it's very simple. Hmm. Let's say Arnab Goswami is the chairman of a particular bank. Arvind Gupta runs a particular company. Let's say Arvind Gupta runs a pharmaceutical company. Okay, so, so you're Arvind saying that Guzmami, you there are there are sweetheart deals between the two in no, this case. But then Arvind there's something Guzmami, called there's something called Arvind due Guzmami diligence. Goswami will tell Arvind Gupta that I will give you X amount of loan. On that loan, normally in the good old days, these guys used to make a commission of anywhere between 0.5 and 1%. But now you'll invest in a in a fund somewhere. I get that point. But, and there are also not just no, no, not just not daughter. just that, but also what is happening is there are various cases. But it's a bigger issue here. See, Soil, I'll tell you the bigger issue here, which location you needs know, to I understand. No, no, Chanda Pranam Kochar. Pranam Mukherjee was president of India. Who? Ask people what happened when Pranam Mukherjee was finance minister. And what did a certain executive assistant of his, who was his principal sec, well, kind of principal secretary lady, what happened with chair, with appointments of chairpersons and loans? What happened? I mean, everyone knows it. Dr. Gupta knows it. Call a, 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 a columnist like Tamal Bandopadhyay who covers the banking sector. He will tell you, Arnab, these are the world's best kept secrets, which are no secret at all. No, Everyone no, no, knows no, no. this. You see Bombay. this, there was this, Everyone knows you know, this. Uh, Sohail, now we are going deep and I wanted to take a step back. Viewers, why what you're watching is interesting is because when we say, you know, this Lutian's cartel, we are talking about a bunch of people who never worked hard, but who just shook hands, had parties, met each other and transacted between themselves and they really stole the wealth of the ordinary people of this country. And how did they steal wealth? You see, you invest money in a bank. You trust the bank to keep your money. The bank goes and gives the money to any X, Y, and Z. That X, Y, and Z takes the money out of the country or invests it somewhere else. That becomes a non-performing asset. And the person who does all this gets Padma Shri's gets extension in their jobs, gets invited to political parties and may one day get a, uh, get a, uh, get a MP ticket also. Just to let you know, Lokesh Jindal, Chanda Kochar, under her time, the NPAs, <coughs> the NPAs rose by 1,500%. Yeah. Bad okay. loans dispersed yeah, by the bank sure. rose by 250%. Now, you know, obviously, she's not so stupid. She's not so incompetent, it's a, it's a which means, no, 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 but, but is it, is it possible, is it possible, one minute, is it possible that there was somebody and the, somebody making calls to her saying, release this loan. She said it's a bad loan. No, release it anyway. Uh, release this NPA. Uh, increase your NPA. You are a big private lender in this country. You want to keep your job. You want to become MD, you want to become CEO, do what I'm saying. And she goes along with it and in the process also thinks, well, if the politicians no, no, no. are making so much money, See, why, don't uh, I, no. why don't I make some money myself? And then, and then she tells her husband, why don't you launch a company? And this video con, who we are going to give a ton of money to, will invest in your company. So let the politicians become rich and you and I will become rich as well. Why was video con's unpaid loan declared an NPA only after 2017? Simple question I have. One minute, Lokesh. Lokesh, Lokesh, listen to me. You people. You people every day come and attack the Modi government for this and that. Viewers, only when Narendra Modi became Prime Minister of India and the, when the Modi government came in, was 
videocon's unpaid loan of 3250 crores financed by icici declared an npa can i answer am i right arvind <laughs> am i right arvind you want an answer no 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 am i right yes, partly of course you are right in totally i mean but it goes without saying without the support of somebody in the corridors of power they cannot take risk of extending ever greening uh, loan after loan you know and that is very well yeah, taken but at the same time icici bank had on their board the who's who of the banking sector very influential people in the corporate world i mean they have their own nexus with the corporate and the banking industry so they have themselves been going ahead and giving loan after loan to all these people without examining the viability of the fund coming back and at the only last fag end when they are unable to repay they are declared npa after all videocon group let's say had about 1 lakh crore of the outstanding what they got in the ibc is just about 2500 offered to uh, to finish it similarly sr group which had more than 1 lakh 40000 crore of the outstanding they also went no, bankrupt no no i want to give one more example here. i want to give one more example one more example here viewers your money is yes. in these psu banks and then there are some rich people who have put money in private banks now not everybody had their money in standard no. chartered bank one minute one minute one minute uh, let me tell you the masses would have put their money in state bank of india Correct. government employees etc okay now what happens is interesting ravi srivastava and i really like doing this viewers great feedback tonight to the debate thank you a state bank of india led consortium was refinancing videocon's loan to standard chartered bank it's crazy how can this happen praful sarda does this make sense to you how did the government not know that the what the no, biggest why, why, government why bank was refinancing videocon's video loans uh, can i answer yeah praful are you so selective praful see here what exactly happens if we go by the record what the information shared by R in, in rti by rbi to me since april 2017 there have been 13 instances where the rbi issues a show cause notice and imposed a penalty on several banks and one of them is icici bank which was which turns out to be a one of the biggest i am saying uh, one of the biggest nps that is grown by 1500% and total all from 2003 till to uh, till 2018 19 it has become 2 lakh crore and most of the loans were disbursed disbursed during chanda coach's leadership so one side she has downgraded the economy and then she have been favorable to all her close people all her friends who has been industrious and now turned as a diwaliya the same bank has given loan to vijay malya and mehul choksi also see people like you and me are common people even if we miss out with one or two emis yeah. there are hundreds of people who will go behind us to pay that one emi that is hardly cost of 20 25000 but in this industrial case this diwali industrial case where they, these people have run away with so much of huge amount if we speak about the one there is there is nothing less than 5000 crore 10000 crore 3000 crore and end of the day we common people keep on paying taxes And, and why was the Raful 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 Ravi yeah, Ravi I, I want to add one more point to you before you come in. Yeah. Now Videocon as a company has got all these bad loans. So hey, let's look at the situation. It's in deep trouble. And suddenly, ONGC, Sohail, the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, which is a government-owned company, right? it decides to buy out sohail videocon industry stake can i have sohail on the left please the question is sohail it buys videocon stake in a giant mozambique gas field even before no no even before the deal was <coughs> closed so not only was sbi helping ongc comes in and helps and why only videocon what is going can all let, this happen just like that let me tell you uh, let's not pussy foot i will take the names and i it's not about which government which political party these are the persona uh, uh, involved the dramatist persona number 1 it has to be the finance minister 
this level of indulgence, interference, and instructive uh, behavior cannot happen without the finance minister telling you. It has to be the banking secretary. I hate to say this, even the then governor of the Reserve Bank of India would be involved because you cannot do this kind of quid pro quo nonsense that has happened. A, B, you very rightly talked about something, Arnab, saying that, look, people give loans, people do favors. Chanda Kochar was not stupid. She was a bright lady. She knew that if the money was being given to her husband, quid pro quo was being established, but she did it regardless. So there was a certain brazenness. This brazenness comes from either stupidity, which she has none of, and it also comes from great support that you have politically. When I know that then I'll say, Thik, I'll do this to hell with it. Uh, I just you wonder, me, I, I just wonder. Me, why was the board not Arna, sacked? Why I wonder, has the board I, 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 I wonder. Ravi, Ravi, why I, has the board Arna, not been sacked? Why has I, the board I, I not been criminally charged? I'm why just, has uh, the board not been criminally arrested? Why has the board not been punished? The board members Arna, are equally complicit and guilty. It is public money. Every board member of that board must be charged with criminal uh, cases. I, I want to... Gupta agrees with me. Arnab. Uh, yes, Arnab. 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 Yes, Arnab. I was, I, I, I was myself a Hoyle. whistleblower he... in the case of the Kingfisher Airline, which was owned by Mr. Vijay Malia. By RTI, I got all the information to how many banks had funded the Kingfisher Airline and how many oil companies had given the ATF to them and not paid for that. Now, my issue here is, even after that, exposing everything, Mr. Vijay Malia continued to stay in India and remained a member of parliament till on 1st March 2016, he vanished with the 30 suitcases to London. So my question here is, what the RBI was doing? No, one what does uh, uh, I have a question doing? for you. What the SFI I have was a question doing? for you. Everybody was sleeping. I have a question for you. Thank you so much. I, I just, just by way of general knowledge, you know, I like to play these little quiz competitions on my program. And I have a quiz competition on my program today. Uh, and I will give this question to Lokesh Jindal. Lokesh, fastest finger first. Please tell me, who was the RBI governor of this country between the period of around September 2013 to September 2016 and I would, I would also I would also like to follow up by telling you follow up by one minute one minute don't one minute follow up by telling you that it so happens that after this individual left the chair was the videocon loan unpaid of 3250 crores declared as an NPA I would just just question. Who was the uh, no, RBI governor in this period? Who was the RBI governor in this period? Who was the RBI governor in this period? Who was the RBI governor in this period, ladies and gentlemen? The nation wants to know. Raghuram Rajan. Raghuram Rajan. Oh, Raghuram Rajan. Okay. Raghuram Rajan didn't know anything. Finance minister was Chidambaram. Chidambaram was the finance minister. He says he gets full marks in my quiz competition. And, the, and that competition, the prize goes to Suhail said for saying, Raghuram Rajan was the RBI all governor. Problems. Fantastic. Suhail, you've always been a good quizzer. And it was via Indian Companies Act 2013 that all these maladies were restructured. There was new form of audit rules that were laid down. And following this, we also see FSLRC, which was formed in 2011. It laid down certain conditions because all these forms of trends were happening. Now look at Income Tax Act, Section 90, Section 91. Look You're at You're such an tax incorrigible liar. Section. Look at the uh, safe heavens which are there. You're such an <laughs> incorrigible any form of and unapologetic liar. All this is going to continue, continue and continue. You're a liar. Until you introduce legislation. You're a liar. I'm saying it. You're a liar. You lie. You lie on my program. You show you have to know the means. Okay, I'll give you. I forgive you. I give you it another question first. I, I, I wish to ask you. I wish to ask you. Gentlemen, please let everybody calm down. You see, viewers, I like the left. I really like the left. Uh, but to the right of my program, on the right of your screen, there is a person called Vivek Srivastav casually and fondly referred to as Vivek Jinping. Vivek, <laughs> when you were in power, as in when you yeah. were supporting UPA 1, 
Yes. When you were supporting <laughs> UPA 1, yes. you must have been flying Kingfisher. Because when you were in power, an 8,040 crore loan was given to Vijay Malia hmm. in 2004, hmm. which turned out to be a non-performing asset. See, no, 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 no. I will see later. I will speak first. No, let's see. You let's tell see. me, am yeah. I right or wrong in saying okay. that you, therefore, the left had a direct role in giving an 8,000 crore loan to Vijay Malia? Did you consider Vijay Malia a representative no. of the working classes? No. Was Vijay Malia a Stalinist, no. Marxist, Absolutely communist? Not. Absolutely was he, not. Was he, Absolutely was, not. Was he, Absolutely was he not. representative of your you, philosophy? You Did see, you find nobody else to give a loan to? Suhail? Absolutely Suhail not. is caught here, he's stuck. Now no, you no, gave no, a loan. No. We, we, Viewers, we, you we don't have, know. Did the left party had a role I, in giving a loan to Vijay Malia? No. We did not. Now you did. We did you not. did. You did. When was the loan given? Not, when was the loan given? Not. When was the loan Vijay given? Malaya. When was the loan given? When was the loan given? When was the loan given? No. When was the loan given? I mean, given? the great Subramaniam Swami. The, there he goes. No, no. Listen, listen. Avoiding listen, the listen, subject. Listen, listen. The great Subramaniam Swami, whom you were quoting right now, who was once the president of Janata Party. Just in case you don't know, the Karnataka unit president of the Janata Party at that time was Vijay Malaya. So he is more of a right winger than the left. That is the first thing. Number two, on this panel, everybody is trying to, you know, corner video con, talk of Chanda Kochar, talk of 1,800 crores. I mean, 2 lakh crores plus is the loan pending with Mr. Adani. Will somebody tell me? Have you, have you, uh, and Nirmala Sita Raman's that official statement, in the last goals. five years, more than 10 so lakh crores have been written off as bad loans no. to bigger corporates to encourage Vivek, them to work more. I always thought Vivek was a sharp I mean, guy. Somebody give me the details I, of those. Vivek is, I, I always I, thought Vivek was an intelligent say, person. Sir, Jodo, There's a difference. Jodo, one minute here. Sir, 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 There's sir, a sir, difference sir, between... Okay, Vivek, now now you now you run out of substance. See, he doesn't make sense. Now you've run out of substance. By the way, viewers, I've driven... I've drawn a connection between Vivek and... And Vijay Malia, the fact is, and they can have a chat about it. Suhail is responding. You've run out of substance, Suhail. No, no, it's left, yeah. Vivek has no, no, raised no, no. a the question. Yeah, what about around, here, Vivek? Let me go on now, please, now, Vivek. Stop doing this. Stop being impertinent on my program. Thank yeah, you, Vivek. Vivek's Shakespearean behavior of being a no, no, constant no, no, underling can continue. Yeah. Let me finish. You have asked a very important question. What happened to yes. two, two, uh, two lakh crore loan yes. to this person or that person? Vivek, you're an intelligent person. All industries, yeah. all big companies from Tata Group to Reliance to everyone, they yeah. take loans from banks in order to service their businesses and their yes. growth. Yes. The problem happens in two areas. Number one, can you when tell, a loan can, can, is can you given... Tell me, can you tell I, me the status hear of me the out, yeah, right. If you don't allow me to finish, how can I tell you, tell you, tell you? Can you, you tell me like the status of the collateral like security given by Adani Group? <coughs> Man, I respond, finish, yeah. No, no, sir, I just ask you a let simple question. Let me finish, yeah. Let me Very finish. respectfully, I ask okay. you a simple so question. So, go on. Now, now you're repeating yourself. You sir. don't have to ask me respectfully. Just ask me and I'll still give you the same respectable answer. Answer is, the issue no, I is... I ask you. You tell me what is the, the state issue, of the collateral security... Allow me to finish, yeah. Go on, go on. You know, Arna, go on, so I'm reducing the volume. Tell as you. As you, have a, you have a disclaimer template before your program. You must also have a code of conduct as to how to conduct yourself in a debate. You have asked a question, I'm giving you an answer. Loans become a problem if they are given unsecured with non-securitized uh, behavior or in a behavior that is partisan. Even Dr. Gupta will bear me out. Number two, the loans become a problem when they are linked and classified as an NPA, when there is not enough collateral. The third is when loans are not serviced. The problem with Videocon happened when they were unable to service their loans because it was a Ponzi scheme. The money was made. Now, let me tell you, Arunab, it'll shock you. Do you know the biggest racket that was being run in the country for a long, long time? And again, under various governments, yeah. was this whole IPO racket. What the promoter families would do was they would get the IPO done. As soon as the IPO was done, the first thing they would do is build themselves fancy homes by private jets. Now, let me tell you the second racket that is still continuing, which Modi has stopped under the code of conduct of the IBC. A lot of promoters who, whose companies then go in for, the, uh, go in for bankruptcy, uh, then create front people. Those front people are given funds through round tripping so that the company remains with the promoter, but under another front. Again, ask Dr. Gupta, he'll tell you. 
these are known things. I'm glad, Arnab, being a news channel, not being partisan or parochial, you're bringing up these issues. These are serious financial issues which reflect on this country. They do. So if any of these I... guys, do you know the board of ICICI would have been in prison for at least 120 to 130 years if they were Absolutely. in America? This is how serious the issue is. And Bernie uh, Madoff for a Ponzi scheme is serving a sentence, I think, of 180 or 200 years. I mean, this is how serious the crime is. One more thing. What about the role of the auditors? I mean, I totally agree. About, I mean, you I cannot, totally I, agree. I, Lokesh I simply, is absolutely uh, right. Give, uh, give a complete insulation to the auditors. The auditor firm is way more responsible than. You are uh, so right, uh, my friends. Bank. Arnab, it's a cozy club. You have decided today on your program to expose this club for what it's worth. This club has worthies who get the same jokers get an award every year, year after year. Best banker, most respected, lifetime achievement. The same cozy club now needs to be disbanded. Well, well it's said, well said, Soil. I'll, I'll, I'll say this, you right. may, I'll, I'll say this at the end. Money, I'll, I'll, I'll say this at the end, Soil. I, I, I say this at the end to you. And, and, and Lokesh, one minute. Uh, Sohail referred to the IPOs. Sohail, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, going by my gut instinct, I want to make another comment. And I hope I don't set alarm bells ringing. But I think we need to talk about corporate ethics as well. Private equity and venture capital investors who put money inflate the valuation in series A, B, C, D, E, F, Absolutely. right up to series Z. Then they, then they extract that price from the ordinary hardworking Indian retail investor. Then after a period of time, the stock market price goes down by 50, 60 percent. There's one particular script which everyone was betting on, which has gone down by 60 percent. Is there any responsibility the person who None. became a billionaire overnight when the day that IPO went? Is there any social responsibility? And that what did that person has? do? He bought a house on Amrita no, no, Shekhar. No, no, and is there the any? Is, no, no, I'm saying is there any? Is there any? Bought. We talk about Last corporate Rami social Shabha responsibility. I say today we must expose those people who say we are decacons, unicorns, and sunicorns. Yes. who then go to the market, no, you, extract you, the money from the retail investor, fleece the money, cheat the people. That's and the I'm greatest. sorry, the financial well, media of this country right doesn't seem to have the guts to talk about it. This problem is you know much why? more in the Modi government. You know why? They get the advertising. And then they get the advertising for these banks. They get advertising from financial institutions. They invite these guys and all these jokers to their summits. That's why there's a racket. That's why there's a nexus. Now, let me tell you, Lokesh, yeah. give me half a minute. Do you think, do you think the finance ministry could have not gotten involved with Chanda Kocha? Of course they could have. Of course they could have. But she was the epitome of banking success. Hear me out, Lokesh. But let me tell you, the story has not ended. It has yes, only we begun. Got... We need a hundred Arvind Guptas because the scoundrels still exist in our system, except they have camouflage themselves with this veneer you know, of respectability. They, the man sitting here, Arvind speak, Gupta, put the letter out. Mr. Gupta, as I'd say to you, better late than never. You fought for a long time. We got to make this yes, a public issue. I fully endorse. And you're right. And it is just a beginning. I can 100% I can be sure that it is just a beginning. You have chipped some wall and just uh, touched the, uh, you agree, the iceberg. Gupta, there are you many more the such revolutions that could come. And do you agree that the mess is deep? Absolutely, 100% Sohail is 100% right. In fact, we need to pursue it further because few uh, financial journalism or, or the captains won't yeah, report closer. because that hurts their interest. Uh, it's, it's, the issue is, I mean, after all, it hurts the bigger interest of the corporate world. It in the, hurts in the, the citizens, Dr. The shareholders Gupta. are robbed. It hurts the people of this country. Yes, but... but, but you and that's what people yes, like, people, people like you Rahul mean, Gandhi and Robert Vadra must think about before no, no, they lecture the people why of this country. You, why do you, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, come Republic Day, 